Hello viewers, hope you're doing well. Today in this video, I'm going to create an API to change the booking status. So let's get started. Let's go to our Angular application. And here I'm going to uncomment this column where we have our two buttons. First one is a approve and second that is a reject. On the click of these buttons, we are calling a method that is a change status. In the argument, we are passing booking ID and the status that is a approve and the reject. So let me copy this method that is a change booking status. Let's go to our get bookings component.ts and here I'm going to create this method. In the argument, it will receive booking ID that is a type of a number, and the second it will be a status that is a type of a string. So let me add here the console.log to print the booking ID and the status in the console so let me add here booking id and second i'm going to print status so let's save this let's go to our ui and let me open here the inspect so let's click on this approve button and you can see we got the booking id that is a four and the status that is a approve let me clear the console and let's click on this reject button and you can see we got the id five and the status that is a reject let me change the color of the approve button. Let me remove this NZ danger from the approve button. The color of the button changed successfully. So let's go to our HTML and here I'm going to uncomment this T head. And you can see here the caption of this column that is action. So let's go to our Spring Boot application and create an API. You can see here the admin service in the Spring Boot application. So here I'm going to create a method. So the return type of this method that is a boolean and name of the method that is a change booking status in the argument it will receive booking id that is a type of a long and second it will receive a status that is a type of a string so let me add here the data type that is a string so let's go to our admin service impl let me implement this method that is a change booking status so first of all we need to get booking by id from the database so here i'm going to create an object book a car and it will be a optional book a car and here we need to call our book a car repository and the method that is a find by id and here we need to pass booking id and in the if condition we need to check that is a optional book a car is present then we need to move in the if block otherwise we need to return here false so in the if block i'm going to create an object that is a book a car and it will be a existing book a car and here we need to assign option book a car dot get and here i'm going to add if condition where we need to check that is a objects let me import these objects from java.util and here we need to select equals first we need to pass here the status and the second we need to pass what we need to match so here i'm going to add approve if the status is approved then we need to call here existing book a car dot set book car status and it will be a book a car status dot approved in the else i'm going to add here existing book a car dot set book a car status and it will be a book a car status dot rejected okay and after that i'm going to call book a car repository and the method that is a save and here we need to pass existing book a car object to save the changes into our database and we need to return here true so let's go to our admin controller and here i'm going to create an endpoint to call method from our admin service so it will be a public and the response entity i'm going to add here question mark and here i'm going to add the method name that is a change booking status and in the argument i'm going to get the booking id and the status from the url so here i'm going to add annotation that is a at the rate path variable that is a long booking id and second we need to get booking status so here i'm going to add at the rate path variable annotation and the string status and here i'm going to call method from our admin service that is a change booking status so here we need to pass booking id and the second we need to pass here status so here i'm going to initialize variable with the type of a boolean and it will be a success so after that i'm going to add if condition where we need to check if we got true then we need to return here response entity dot okay 
dot build in case of false then we need to return here response entity dot not found dot build so on the top i'm going to add annotation that is a at the rate get mapping to access this api and the url of this api that is a slash car slash booking slash booking id so let me add here booking id slash status let's run the spring boot application you can see application started and let's go to our angular application and call this api let's go to our admin service and here i'm going to copy this method that is a get car bookings let me paste after that and here i'm going to update the method name that is a change booking status in the argument it will receive booking id that is a type of a number and second it will receive a status that is a type of a string and here i'm going to add back tick let's add the actual values of booking id and status with the url of the api so let me remove this s from the bookings so it will be a slash api slash admin slash car slash booking slash booking id so let me pass here booking id slash status so let me pass here status and the mapping it will be a get so let's save this let's go to our get booking component dot ts so first of all in the constructor i am going to inject message service so it will be a ng message service so here i am going to call our admin service and the method that is a change booking status and here we need to pass booking id and second we need to pass here status so let's subscribe this save the response into this variable that is rs and here i'm going to add console.log to print the result into our console let me add here the is spinning and let's make it true and after getting the response we need to make it false so let me copy this statement and add after this and here we need to make it false after getting the response we need to call method that is a this dot get bookings to get the updated record from the backend and after that we need to show the notification to the admin so it will be a this dot message dot success booking status changed successfully and here i'm going to add the duration of this notification that is a five seconds so in case of error and here we need to show the error message the notification that is a something went wrong and the duration of this message that is a five seconds so let's go to our ui and let's test the api so you can see here the status of these bookings that is a pending so let me click on this approve button to change the status of the first booking so you can see the notification service that is a booking status changed successfully and the status that is also changed let me click on this reject button to reject the booking and you can see the notification service and the status that is a rejected and you can also see the approve and the reject button disappeared from this column because i've added here the ng if where we are checking that is a booking dot book a car status is pending then we need to show these buttons otherwise we don't need to show so let me refresh the component and you can see the status of the bookings let me log out and let's log in here the customer let's go to our my bookings component in the customer module and you can see here the status so that's all for now from my side i hope you like this video if you have any confusion you can do comment and also subscribe to my channel for more videos and hit the bell icon thanks for watching take care bye